a little bit of a... Six minutes, but the snap by Atkins was the Bulldogs' only score for the first quarter. Geelong dominated the rest of the term, getting the ball cleanly out of the centre for the runners going past. Bairstow kicked two in the first term as the class of the home team won out on every line. When defence was required, Hinkley could deliver the goods. It was raining goals, more cats than dogs. Hawkins' tackle nearly came off, but Mansfield made it eight goals to one. But John Ballantyne, starved of chances in his two years at Footscray, just cleared the line with this one and added another three minutes later. But it was all Geelong, and the Cats built up a lead of 11 goals at the long break. After half-time, the Cats were slack and even kicked goals by mistake. Couch red-faced about this. Footscray outscored them in the last quarter, Reynolds kicking two, and Ballantyne finishing with four. Gary Hocking capped off a marvellous day for him with poise. At least the Cats maintained second place, doing it on the bit in the second half. Drew Morfitt, Seven Nightly News. Queensland football received its second shot in the arm in five days. As involved in the historic win over the Big V during the week, Carlton was desperate to draw first blood. Craig Bradley was relishing the dry conditions and his burst out of the middle resulted in another. Oh, beautiful kick. Look at the pass. Although Cameron was in form at half forward, the Bears failed to take advantage of their opportunities. And when Mill Hanna booted his second just before quarter time, the visitors led by 17 points. That lead was soon stretched with Phillips crumbing well out of one pocket, then our Siri attacked from the other. But experience rescued the Bears. Brad Hardy booted three for the term, and if skipper Roger Merritt wasn't dishing them out, they're the hard things that he does that sometimes go unnoticed. He was taking them in the square, and at half time, Brisbane led by two points. The third term was all Brisbane, highlighted by the hard working Merritt kicking four inspirational goals. It was a frustrating time for the Blues. O'Brien was having a field day, and by the last change, his team held a 25-point break. The Blues hit back hard with four early goals, but Brisbane managed to hang on by seven points in a thriller. And in another...